Hey guys, it's Brett here. Earlier this year, I told you that I took a digital transformation course through NCIAD's Business School, and since then, I've had a chance to actually implement some of the things I learned in the classroom and take them to my job in the workplace. And one of those things that I've been trying to implement more and more is the innovator's DNA. Specifically, the things that innovators do that are woven into the fabric of who they are that other people might already do, but aren't as aware of. Innovators don't only act differently, they talk differently. Specifically, they ask questions. And that's one of the biggest things that make them innovators. They're constantly questioning and wondering how things work, wondering why things are the way they are. And it's from that perspective that they're able to find new places for innovation. Personally, in my workplace, I see this all the time. My background isn't in technology, and yet I'm in a technology role. So there's often times where I'm asking questions as to why do we work in that methodology? Why would we work in this workflow and not in another? What's the point of doing this? And what's the meaning or the purpose behind that? And oftentimes, I'm asking that question not only to help myself, but also to help understand and innovate the process as to why. Asking questions gives you a point of reference. It frames the reality that you see. And it's from that perspective, whether it be with a constraining question, an opening mind question, whatever kind of question it is, the questions dictate what you're able to see, and it's from that perspective you can innovate better. You see this in real life with David Neil Amon, the starter and founder of Azul Airlines in Sao Paulo, Brazil. David wanted to start a high customer service, low cost airline in a country that has a duopoly where two major airline providers were providing very expensive flights without providing much customer service. One of the first big challenges that David came up against was the one of geography, which in Sao Paulo, Brazil, the closest airport is an hour away. So a taxi ride from the city center to the airport was actually more expensive than an airport ticket to anywhere you wanted to go. So David starts thinking to himself, what can we do to solve this problem? How can we overcome this barrier of geography? To which he said, why not start a bus system? Bus thousands of people from the city center all the way to the airport, and thus we could possibly create new customers. When David poses this question to his executives, they all say, look, we do airplanes. We don't do sophisticated bus systems, airlines, airplanes, travel. Why would we want to do this different type of transportation in our business? To which David's response was, why not? And he asks this question over and over and over again until finally the executives say, okay, why? Well, we'll, we'll try this. They try it, they implement it, and it works fantastically. So Azul Airlines not only is able to bus thousands of customers day to day to their airport to utilize their service, but they're also able to transform the way that airlines think about transportation. Steve Jobs is great at this. He's famously gone on the record asking questions like, what would we do if we didn't have to worry about money? What would be different about the way that we do things here at Apple if money wasn't a constraint? And we know the result of that question because they've got such amazing products. Apple is a household brand. And before Steve Jobs asked those questions, the ideas of innovation that they had were just things on a scribbled up piece of paper. That's what innovators do. They ask questions that take ideas and make them a reality. The questions they ask are the probes that make things stop being ideas and start becoming real life products, real life projects. And when you're an innovator, it's in your DNA to ask better questions. If you're interested in learning more about the innovator's DNA, check out Dr. Nathan Furr online. Check out my next video where we'll talk about the next trait in the innovator's DNA. Thanks for watching.